No way. So good. No. That is fall back in your seat. Amazing. Welcome back to our channel. So as you can see, we are at an airport and we are at Miami International Airport. We are on our way to Portland, Oregon. As some of you know, uh, what we do for our job is we're professional dancers. So we've been hired to teach and perform in Portland. So that is why we're at the airport. We're on our way there, but we're gonna document what we run into as far as food. Now, some of you guys know that at airports, you don't find the best food, but uh, we're gonna be making a couple stops. We're gonna be making one in Vegas, and we have a four hour layover, so we might find something interesting. Anyways, guys, we're not sure what to expect as far as food, but we're gonna bring you on this journey. Let's go. across from Starbucks, the world's greatest hot sandwich. So it's kind of intriguing. We're here checking out the menu. I think we should grab a couple sandwiches. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. So guys, the machine back there is just so convenient and so interesting. You don't have to deal with anyone and you get to sit there, you get to choose all of like all the items that they have here. So it's really, really cool. And I'm not sure what to expect with the sandwich, guys, because you can only expect so much at an airport, but uh, I'm really looking forward to trying this sandwich. Okay, guys, so we got our sandwich, we got orange juice. Our flight is like just about to leave. So little Alfonso here, you got freshly squeezed orange juice. So that place has like, literally there's a machine that cuts the oranges and then it just like, the orange juice comes out, which is really cool. This sandwich is hot, just like they said in the title. Oh, I kind of thought it was going to look like the picture, <laughs> but we have a hot bun. We have the cheese. We have the ham. We have the egg. I mean, what can you expect at airport, you know? Oh, it's good. The bun is fluffy. There's some like honey mustard on here. I'm making it a little bit sweet. I give it a solid six out of 10, <laughs> but mm. guys, it's like, what can you get at airport? And you can see right now that we're the next to like jump on this plane. So we are headed to Vegas and hopefully we find better food in Vegas. Let's go. food. 
Okay guys, we are in the capital city of entertainment, Las Vegas. We are so excited, it is so hot here. So our flight got delayed by like seven hours. So our plan has changed. Instead of eating in the airport, we are gonna go find the best restaurant to eat on Las Vegas Strip. So I think what the best place to go is Caesars Palace. I wanna show you guys that area. Um, and then we're gonna find an amazing restaurant to eat at before we jump on another flight to Portland, Oregon. Let's go on this adventure. Okay, so we made it. Um, so excited. Caesars Palace is like a very luxury hotel along the Bellagio. So what we're gonna see in here is amazing and they have really cool architecture on the roofs of this hotel. Let's go. We are now entering Caesars Palace. So we are here to find this restaurant, um, Gordon Ramsay. We love Gordon Ramsay and he has several different restaurants. They have a health kitchen here, but you need a reservation like far in advance for that. They also, he also has like a burger place, but this one is like um, an English pub, which is really exciting because he's really good at fish and chips. So can't wait to try it. <laughs> because it's like an English pub. They have like little dogs. That's so cute. Look at the atmosphere in here. Gordon knows how to like design his restaurants. So I am looking forward to the food. A lot of good looking food here.
the service here is great. Like they greet you right away. They serve you water right away. Uh, and yeah, take a look at, at the attention to detail. Like the forks, they have nice designs on them. The knives, like very nice attention to detail. Um, a lot of great things on the menu. They have, of course, the fish and chips. They have the burgers. They have lobster mac and cheese. They have soups, they have salads. I don't know where to start. We're gonna ask the waiter what is the most popular, but judging, uh, looking around the tables, it is the fish and chips that are the most popular at this place. <laughs> okay guys, so we have placed our order, but I don't know if you guys know who Gordon Ramsay is. He is like a Scottish restaurateur and a chef, and he is known for his fiery temper. If you've seen him on TV, he's always usually like yelling at his uh, cooks there to do it better, but I mean, I love him. He is so fun to watch, and uh, he's very, very successful. He has many, many restaurants around the world, even Michelin star restaurants, so it's really, really cool. Um, so today we got the most two popular things here. We got his fish and chips with tartar sauce and mushy peas, and then we got, which I've never had before, short rib grilled cheese, white cheddar, sourdough, pickled onions, HP sauce, and truffle fries. We cannot wait to get into this meal and like, it looks really, really delicious. <laughs> okay guys, take a look at this amazing short rib grilled cheese sandwich. This is like everything you would ever want in this grilled cheese sandwich. Cheese just falling out. And then of course we got the truffle fries. This is an extra, so the waiter recommended to try these. These are really good. Look at all the different kinds of sauces we have. We have pickles over here. Maybe some Dijon mustard. Ketchup. And I'm not, mayo? Mayo, yeah. So <laughs> I wanna try this sandwich, guys. I am so hungry after the, that flight. Oh, it could be an aioli, yes. It's probably an aioli because it's fancy and it's Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> okay, guys, let's dive in. Let's not wait. Oh my god. No way. That is so perfect. It is gooey. It is just salted perfectly the toast the toast is cooked to perfection but the meat guys the meat is like too too much guys the flavor is insane it's like the perfect amount of saltiness oh my gosh no way gosh. so good no that is fall back in your seat amazing the meat is not even dry oh my gosh guys I just want to sit here in heaven with this grilled cheese sandwich that's just cooked with so much care no way that is insane this is not your ordinary grilled cheese sandwich this is a Gordon Ramsay grilled cheese sandwich you guys, let's dive into the truffle fries. I wanna try this aioli. So black truffle, I don't know if you guys know, but truffle's like very expensive and very, um, it's like a delicacy, I think. French fries. Oh yeah. Those are good, oh my gosh. This is like a garlic mayo aioli, so it's a mixture. The fries are amazing. Guys, though, the star of this dish is this grilled cheese sandwich. I wanna try a little bit of this, um, I believe it's a Dijon mustard. Oh, Gordon Ramsay just knows how to touch the hearts of millions of people. Delicious grilled cheese sandwich. Oh yeah. Oh my God. That adds like such a good tartness to it. So it's like salty and gooey and crispy. And then this just adds. 
that extra bit of oomph on top. This food is amazing. The sandwich is to die for. Like, we just flew from Miami to Vegas to try this sandwich and it is worth it. <laughs> So here we have the main event of the evening, the fish and chips, and this is what they're famous for. Take a look at this beautiful dish here. Generous size of fish. Look at this fish. And it's crisp, like, so perfectly. Look at the coating. Okay, and I like that it's not too thick. Um, huge, huge pieces of fish, guys. And then uh, at the bottom here, you have a ton of fries. So I'm loving the portions, Gordon Ramsay. You got this on point. Okay guys, let's dive into this beautiful fish. It looks like we have some vinegar over here. Some people like to put vinegar on their fish. Tartar sauce. This is the mushy peas. Very English thing to do. And then ketchup. Alfonso's favorite. <laughs> okay guys. Let's dive straight for the good stuff. <clears throat> that is a good size fish. Oh. Oh my God. Did you see? Did you see how easy it was to bite through that? It just like dissolved. That means that fish is just cooked to perfection. And that's what English food is all about, right? This is like their main dish, fish and chips. The fish is insane. It is just fall apart. Look, guys, fall apart. You don't even have to try hard. That is a perfect cook. That's why I love Gordon Ramsay. I can talk about it all day. He just cooks his food to perfection. He always strives to like get the best out of his staff and he's doing a great job. Let's dive it into some vinegar. So some people like vinegar with their fish and chips. Oh. It is so soft. It is like a cloud. It is just seasoned perfectly. The cook though on it just blows my mind. Because it just falls apart, guys. And I don't know if you can hear, probably not, but there is a good amount of crunch factor on this fish and chip. I think my favorite though is the tartar sauce. Tartar sauce is good. Let's dive it in. Oh, this is something you want to fly around the world for. No. Every bite is shocking. Every bite is like, no. Is it really that good? Yes, it is. It is cooked perfectly. Let's check out the fries at the bottom. So, different style cut of fry. I love the tartar sauce, though. So. Oh yeah, it's good. You know what? It tastes like a real potato. You know, there's some fries that like, they don't have any like filling on the inside. This is an actual potato. Looks like it's hand cut. Uh, let's try with the ketchup. Really good. Mm. Really good fries. Mushy peas. Haven't had this, but again, a very English thing. Love the design and attention to detail. Look at that color. Nice and green. Oh. Not what I was not what I was expecting. It has some like texture in there. It's delicious. It just tastes like peas, but like done really well. I've never had peas done like this. Really good. And there's something interesting in there, like maybe cilantro, lime, um, but it's called flavor. Wow, guys. Amazing food. I cannot believe how delicious the grilled cheese sandwich was. And then the fish and chips was delicious guys we are gonna sit here we're gonna enjoy this amazing meal and we are so blessed to be eating at Gordon Ramsay's pub and grill wow guys that was such a cool experience I loved it at Gordon Ramsay's pub bar and grill the food was 
amazing. So you know what guys, I am so happy that our flight got delayed because we got to try this amazing food and that wasn't even the plan. So super blessed. Uh, anyways guys, we are on our way back to Portland, back to the actual plan. And I'm really excited about Portland because they're known for their food trucks. We haven't done a food truck video, but I'm really excited and there's a ton of different places to go check out. So stay tuned, like this video, subscribe so we can continue making content for you guys. And on that note, just keep on dancing.